The film begins with a solitary 12-year-old ballerina, Abigail, rehearsing in an empty theater. Meanwhile, a group of six criminals outside concoct a plan to abduct her. After her practice, Abigail gets into a car with her chauffeur and heads home, unaware of the danger lurking ahead. Before she arrives, a skilled hacker breaches her home security system, allowing three accomplices to infiltrate the residence. Shortly after, Abigail returns home and attempts to rest in her room, only to be ambushed and sedated by the kidnappers. They swiftly transport her to their van and eventually arrive at a dilapidated mansion, where the mastermind, Lambert, awaits. Abigail, still unconscious, is taken to a room where she is restrained with handcuffs and tied to the bed. The audience is then introduced to the kidnapping team, consisting of six members, Frank, the apparent leader, Joey, a former medic, Dean, the getaway driver, Peter, the enforcer, Sammy, the tech expert, and Rick Les, the marksman. However, these are merely aliases assigned by Lambert, who emphasizes the importance of secrecy and confiscates their phones to ensure the 24-hour operation remains confidential. With the abduction now complete, Lambert assures the team that the most challenging part is behind done, and all that remains is to keep Abigail under surveillance. When Joey asks about Abigail's father, Lambert discloses that he's an extremely affluent individual on the verge of losing a substantial fortune of $50 million. He reassures the group that once the ransom is paid, they'll each receive a $7 million share and can part ways. Lambert then departs the mansion, stating he'll reunite with them in 24 hours. Later, the group begins to indulge in drinks, except Joey, who claims she needs to reunite with her son soon. Dean starts speculating about each member's past, but Joey intervenes, correcting his misconceptions. The group then places bets on whether Joey can accurately guess their individual stories. Joey successfully deduces that Frank was a law enforcement officer, Peter was a Quebec Mafia enforcer, and Sammy hails from a wealthy family that engages in criminal activities for thrills. In response, Frank correctly identifies Joey as a former addict. Joey becomes uneasy and checks on Abigail, who's awake and visibly distraught. She carefully removes the blindfold, and Abigail complains about her hurting hands, prompting Joey to loosen her restraints. As they converse, Joey shares that she has a son of the same age as Abigail, attempting to reassure the terrified girl that she'll be safe as long as she cooperates and her father pays the ransom. Joey even makes a pinky promise to protect Abigail from harm. However, Abigail expresses her belief that the operation is futile since her father doesn't care about her, and she apologizes to Joey for the impending consequences. Joey is unsettled by Abigail's words and seeks out Frank downstairs. She reveals to him that the girl hinted at her father's violent nature and inquires if he's familiar with him. Frank feigns ignorance and hurries to Abigail's location. Unbeknownst to him, her blindfold has been removed, causing him to panic. He brandishes a gun, demanding to know if she's seen his face, but Abigail denies it. Frank remains skeptical and pressures her to divulge her father's identity, eventually extracting the name, Christoph Lazar. Stunned, Frank retreats downstairs, announcing his departure. The others are perplexed, prompting Frank to explain that their captive is the daughter of Christophe Lazar, a notorious figure in the criminal underworld. Chaos erupts, with Joey proposing an anonymous tip-off and abandonment. However, Frank is anxious about Abigail's ability to recognize him, having seen his face. He suggests eliminating her, but Joey vetoes the idea, citing the $7 million reward. Thus, they decide to proceed with the plan. Later, Dean begins to explore the house, stumbling upon a dark room adorned with vintage photographs, including one featuring a girl who bears a striking resemblance to Abigail. He ventures further, entering the basement, where a door suddenly swings open on its own. Terrified, Dean attempts to flee, but is pulled inside by an unseen force. Sammy, alerted by his screams, rushes to investigate and discovers Dean's lifeless body, his head severed from his torso. She lets out a blood-curdling scream and hastily summons the others, who are equally horrified by the gruesome scene. Following the incident, Joey brings up Lazar's notorious assassin, Valdez, renowned for beheading his victims. Years ago, the FBI captured three key members of Lazar's gang in New York. These individuals were housed securely in a hotel under constant guard prior to their trial. The next day, the FBI shockingly found all three deceased, their heads severed and their organs missing. Interestingly, the only entry points to the room were a door and a window on the 23rd floor. Alarmed, the group hurries to check on Abigail, who remains in the room. Rickles is disturbed by the unsettling events and decides to leave. However, upon trying to exit through the main door, he discovers a second locked door blocking the way. Despite their best efforts, they are unable to force it open. To worsen the situation, their attempts trigger a security mechanism that seals all windows and doors, trapping them inside. 
Later, Joey questions Abigail about any visitors besides the man wearing glasses, presumed to be Frank. Initially denying it, she later claims that the man in glasses, whom she names Valdez, will harm her if she discloses the truth. She fabricates that he is associated with her father. Upon hearing this, Joey heads to confront Frank, but is interrupted by a noise. Turning back, Joey sees Rickles standing strangely. As she approaches him, she is horrified to find him severely injured. Before Rickles can speak, he succumbs to his injuries and collapses. In the next scene, Joey reconvenes the group and accuses Frank of being the notorious Valdez, revealing Abigail's earlier confession and accusing him of the double murder. Frank vehemently denies the allegations, suggesting that Abigail is playing them against each other. Losing patience, he orders Peter to eliminate Abigail, but Joey intervenes just in time to prevent the execution. As the group argues over Abigail's fate, Sammy notices her effortlessly slipping out of her handcuffs, but before she can warn the others, Abigail transforms into a vampire and attacks Peter. Frank quickly puts a bullet in her forehead, but to their horror, Abigail rises again and launches a brutal assault on the group. They manage to escape and trap her in the room, finally realizing that the whispers about Valdez's impossible assassinations are true, Abigail is the vampire Valdez. As they scramble to devise a plan to defeat her, they consider using traditional vampire weaknesses like garlic, crosses, silver bullets, and stakes. The group, minus Joey, returns to confront Abigail, only to find her dancing with Dean's lifeless body. Sammy attempts to repel her with garlic, but Abigail overpowers her. Peter is then hurled to the ground, and Abigail uses his cross to inflict a bleeding wound on his chest. Meanwhile, Frank's stake attack is foiled, and he is instead stabbed in the leg. Defeated, the trio retreats downstairs, where Joey tends to their injuries. According to her theory, Abigail's invincibility is not absolute, and there's still a chance to subdue her. She remembers how the tranquilizer worked when she was kidnapped from her own home, which inspires a plan to recapture Abigail and sedate her again. The group disperses to search for Abigail, but soon they're confronted by the vampire. Peter is the first to be attacked and flees, trapping Abigail in a room, but she breaks free and gives chase, eerily performing ballet moves as she pursues him. Next, Abigail targets Frank, attempting to strangle him, and when Sammy tries to intervene, Abigail bites her arm. Finally, Peter tackles Abigail to the ground, allowing Joey to inject the tranquilizer, which quickly renders her unconscious. When Abigail awakens, she finds herself imprisoned in an iron cage. In a shocking twist, Abigail reveals that Lambert, their employer, is working for her father, and the entire kidnapping was orchestrated for his amusement. Moreover, Abigail exposes the true identities of each group member. Sammy is actually Jessica, a skilled hacker who stole from one of Lazar's companies. Peter's real name is Terence, a former mobster who robbed Lazar's business, and Frank is actually Adam Barnett a detective who went undercover and arrested Lazar's gang members in New York. Last, but not least, there's Joey, whose actual name is Anna Lucia. A former field medic, she had ruined her career due to a morphine addiction. According to Abigail, Joey had turned to clandestine medical work, but her addiction led to a critical mistake, cutting an artery of a key figure in Lazar's organization. Abigail reveals that she has brought the group together to exact revenge for her father, but offers to spare their lives if they help her escape. Peter takes her up on the offer, but Joey double-crosses him, shooting him instead. She then tends to his wound and asks Frank to keep an eye on Abigail. When left alone, the vampire girl tries to deceive Frank into opening the door, but he remains unmoved. Undeterred, she breaks free and attacks him. It becomes clear that she had been feigning captivity to toy with the group. Abigail attempts to kill Frank, but Joey intervenes, smashing a window shield and allowing sunlight to flood in, badly burning Abigail's hand. Seizing the opportunity, Frank and Joey join the others in the library, where they discover they are safe until dawn due to the sunlight entering through a specific window. Sammy proposes that there must be a power source within the house that, if destroyed, would disable the shields. The group likes her idea and decides to search for the power source in pairs. Abigail resumes her melody, exerting control over Sammy, who had fallen prey to the vampire's bite earlier. Transformed into a bloodthirsty creature, Sammy assaults Peter with ferocity, ending his life. Under Abigail's command, she then breaks into a macabre ballet dance. Joey and Frank stumble upon the gruesome scene, and Sammy, still entranced, informs them of Peter's demise, her laughter echoing eerily. As they flee in terror, Sammy pursues them relentlessly. They eventually seek refuge in the library, utilizing the sunlight to their advantage. When Sammy attempts to follow, Joey deflects the sun's rays onto her using a mirror, causing her to disintegrate into fragments. A hidden bookshelf swings open, revealing a secret passageway that Joey and Frank enter. They soon find themselves in a control room, where Lambert has been monitoring their every move. 
He effortlessly overpowers them, exposing his own vampiric nature. In a moment of candor, Lambert reveals that Abigail had turned him two years prior, forcing him to lure her father's enemies to the mansion. Weary of his servitude, Lambert proposes an alliance to Frank, join the ranks of the undead and help him usurp Lazar's empire. Frank, enticed by the offer, accepts without hesitation. Lambert then bites Frank, allowing him to drink his vampiric blood and amplify his strength. Once Frank's transformation is complete, Lambert instructs him to slay Joey as his inaugural victim. However, Frank betrays Lambert, driving a stake through his heart and ending his existence. Frank's attention then shifts to Joey, and he attempts to take her life. As Abigail arrives, she clashes with Frank, but his newfound power allows him to dominate her, draining her blood and leaving her severely weakened. Meanwhile, Joey rushes to disable the security systems, but her attempt to flee is thwarted when she finds the exit blocked. Frank soon corners her, toying with her like a rag doll, intending to transform her into a mindless vampire minion. Abigail, realizing her own vulnerability, proposes an alliance with Joey to take down Frank together. Despite their combined efforts, they fail to inflict any damage on him. Frank seizes Joey and bites her, intending to enslave her. He orders her to kill Abigail, but Joey cleverly pretends to comply before turning on him instead. Abigail joins the fight, and after a fierce battle, they finally overpower Frank, impaling him with a stake and causing his body to disintegrate. With Frank dead, Abigail thanks Joey and reveals that she is now free from the vampire's curse. As Joey prepares to depart, she is confronted by Abigail's father, Christophe Lazar, who seeks revenge for her supposed kidnapping. However, Abigail intervenes, crediting Joey with saving her life, and Lazar ultimately spares her, allowing Joey to escape the mansion, covered in blood. Please like and subscribe for more video like this, thanks for watching.